Hey, Luke here with CatsandCarp.com, and me and my boy Tommy here, we are going to break an ugly stick. I've got the Ugly Stick GX2 right here, the six and a half foot medium action rod, and I've got the reel. I bought it for $49.99 over at Gander Mountain, and we're going to destroy it, okay? Ugly Sticks claims that these things are, are tough, the toughest rod on the market. Um, that's their reputation. Well, I'm tough too, and we're going to see who's tougher, me or this. All right? Um, I'll have a, I could be tougher by myself. I could be nice. You can be tougher by yourself? Yeah. Tell me, you think you can break this rod? Yeah. <laughs> All righty, we got a... Six and a half foot medium action ugly stick GX2 with 80 pound Power Pro line on it. We're gonna do something very, very irresponsible with this. All right, so this rod is designed to throw one to two ounces of lead optimally. So we're gonna try throwing 10 ounces of lead and see what happens. Wow, that actually cast that pretty easy. All right. So let's try that now with 16 ounces of lead. Cast it into the wood. Cast it into the wood? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you said it's in the wood. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, 16 ounces of lead. Let's, uh, let's up the ante a little bit. Let's see if we can do uh, 32 ounces. Oh, wait, the wood day. <laughs> Look at that. 32 ounces of lead. <laughs> All right, let's see if it'll lift the milk jug. Oh, yeah! You did it! Look at that. Bouncy ball. <laughs> it's a ball. <laughs> Woo! What's that, Tommy? Stand over, stand over here. Or we're there, whatever. That was insane. Okay, ready, go. I'm going to break your line. You're going to break my line? I am. Oh, I'm breaking your line. <laughs> Okay, this is insane. I thought this would have broke it for sure. I gotta figure out how much this thing weighs. 
22 pounds deadlifted. This is insane. All right, we've, we've lifted milk jugs and, and pull, pulled kayaks and lifted chainsaws and bicycles. We need a bigger challenge. I think I'm gonna try to tow this boat. Ooh. Holy crap, it broke and it didn't break at the knot. Look at this, <laughs> the 80 pound Power Pro broke and look at, it broke above the knot. <laughs> we gotta tie a new knot and try again. Oh, we finally got failure and it wasn't the rod. Look at this, it's the reel, man. Now, keep in mind that this combo, I bought it for $49.99 over at Gander Mountain. I could buy the same rod without the reel for $39.99. So that means this is a $10 reel. Yeah, I just broke the arm right off. That is something else. But you know what? The rod didn't break, just the reel broke. We gotta break the rod. <laughs> You've served us well. All right, so now we're gonna upgrade to a Pen Pursuit 8000 and see if we can't break this rod. So just as a little, uh, little size comparison here, this is the uh, ugly stick rod, this is the Shakespeare. Here's the Pen Pursuit 8000. Okay, both with the 80 pound braid on it. So we're gonna see uh, if we can't break an ugly stick using a Pen Pursuit 2 8000. Oh, I'm not sure if I can get this thing to fit on. Come on, ugly stick. Why aren't you making your, your medium action rods able to handle this type of reel? <laughs> it's a design flaw right there. Oh. I think I bent the plastic a little bit, but I think it got in there. <laughs> oh, this is unnatural. I've now increased the weight of this rod tenfold. So let's see what we can do with this. I actually paid 70 bucks for this Pen Pursuit, so I'm not anxious to break this one. If I, <laughs> if I break the reel, and the rod doesn't break, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Though I may never bad mouth ugly sticks again if that happens. <laughs> oh, this thing weighs like a ton now. <laughs> All right, there we go, some zip ties. That should fix it. Okay, we're getting serious. You can see that just lifting crap is not doing this justice. We're going full throttle here. Oh! 
Oh, I sure hope that one runs. Oh, it broke? Oh, yes, in multiple places. I think it was a combination of the hill and everything going together. Oh, no. oh yeah. Hey, Tommy, go get that other beast for me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, check this out. It didn't even break at the ferrule. It didn't even break at the ferrule. It just came across. It just came apart. Dude, that is insane. So apparently, if you want to break an ugly stick GX2. You need a go-kart, at least a teenager, and a fighting harness. <laughs> and a Pen2 8000 class uh, reel with uh, 80 pound Power Pro on there. So uh, yeah, whoever wrote that this was designed for 6 to 15 pound line doesn't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Oh, man, that is tough. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, if you like this video, check out some other great videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, including fishing with a 30-foot bamboo rod and doing the toy rod challenge to catch big catfish. We put out new videos every week, so don't forget to click subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I'd like to speak to somebody with customer service. Yeah, I just bought a new GX2 today and it already broke. No, I wasn't doing anything weird with it.